on the station concourse, Alison is planning for some visitors who want to return to the days of a fully nationalised rail system. At the moment, we have got a planned protest on Facebook that, um, called Get Glasgow Moving, where they want to take the ownership of the railways and the bus companies back into public ownership. So we're just keeping our eyes open just now, just to see if anyone shows up. We do accommodate protests outside, as long as it's outside the station. We'll do what we can just to make sure everybody's safe. So for us, it's just making sure safety, because obviously we've got a bus that comes in at the front of the station. Quite often protesters don't realise this, and they'll congregate under our canopy. And then we've got buses coming and going, taxis coming and going, and rush hour at the same time. So for us, it's safety, safety we're looking out for. The protesters will gather outside the station's main entrance. I think the only reason we were aware of it, because um, it was actually and one of the office staff um, had seen it come up on our Facebook, events near you, and that's how we found out about it. Hey guys, mind the bus! Bus is coming in! Queen Street, the wee bus will take you, it's just coming in. Mind the bus! Guys, move out of the way, the bus is coming in, move out of the way! I think it could be a full-time job, moving people out of the way of that bus. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite loud anyway, so it's quite all right. Perfect job for me. <laughs> End the rail ripple. End the rail Today's protesters would like to see a return to a fully nationalised rail network, rather than the combination of private and public ownership we have today. We're a public transport campaign, and everyone's here standing out for public ownership, so that's actually great. That's us done today, so we called it a day because it was so wet. <laughs> but I think it must have been about 30 people turned up and decided to stay out in the rain, so it's really important for us.